Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise Jesus. My name is Pastor John Gaho of Blessings Revival Center Church, Kigumo, in the country of Kenya. And today, I've come to you so that we can share the word of God. And I want to encourage you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we come before you. We thank you because of this time that you've given us to share your word. Father Lord, thank you even because of this person who is watching this sermon from wherever this person is watching it from. I thank you and I glory for your name because I know you are Jehovah. You are the starting and you are the end of everything. Father, come and be with us as we share this message. Speak your word unto this person, O oh God, through me. In the name of Jesus, we do pray, trusting and believing. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. I want us to go straight to the word of God. And I want us to read Genesis chapter 13 and verse 14. After Lot left, I read Genesis chapter 13 verse 14. After Lot left, the Lord said to Abraham, Look around you. Look north, south, east and west. All this land that you see, I will give it to you and your people who live after you. This will be your land forever. I will make your people so many that they will be like the dust of the earth. If people could count all the particles of the dust on the earth, they could count your people. So go, walk through your, your land, I now give it unto you. We see Lot leaving Abraham. And immediately Lot left. God spoke to Abraham and he said to him, Abraham, I want you to look around from all sides and see how big this land is. And I am promising to you, Abraham, I'm going to give this land unto you and the generation that is going to come after you. God promised Abraham that he's going to bless him and he's going to give him all the land that he was seeing from all corners. That is from east, from west, from north, and from south. The reason as to why I have come today is to encourage you and to tell you that if you keep trusting in God, if you keep doing what God wants you to do, God will make a promise to you. God will keep everything good for you. Let me read for you. Genesis chapter 15 and verse 10. For Abraham to be blessed, what happened? Abraham believed the Lord, and because of his faith, the Lord accepted him as one who has done what is right. We can see God making a promise to Abraham and telling him that I will bless you. After Abraham was told that, he kept his faith strong in God. And God looked at him. And so that Abraham was actually the person he should bless because his faith grew stronger day in, day out. His faith in God grew stronger. He knew that God promised him something. And he knew that God is going to do something great in his life. Verse 10. Let's read from verse 9. God said to Abraham, Lord God, but Abraham, no, but Abraham said to, that is, God said to Abraham, we will make an agreement. God told Abraham, even though you have all this strong faith in me, I want us to make an agreement. This is God and this is Abraham. And God is telling Abraham, I want us to make an agreement. My friend and my sister and brother, wherever you are, you must make an agreement with God. God has promised so many good things in your life. But God wants you to make an agreement with Him. I want you to take a step of faith. Let me continue. Bring me a three-year-old cow a three-year-old gold, a three-year-old ram, a dove, and a young pigeon. God instructed Abraham 
to go and bring those animals and make a sacrifice to him. God instructed Abraham to go and bring all those animals and make a sacrifice to him. God wanted to test Abraham and to see whether he can be able to bring what little he was blessed with unto the Lord and make a sacrifice so that they can make an agreement. God wanted to see how faithful Abraham is even when it comes to his property and giving his property to God. Look, verse 10. Abraham brought all these to God. Abraham killed these animals and cut each of them into two pieces. But Abraham was told by God to go and bring these animals. He went and brought all these animals and he made a sacrifice to God. That means Abraham obeyed God, listened to the voice of God, and he brought the animals and made a sacrifice to God. Verse 18. So that day, Lord made a promise and an agreement with Abraham. When the sacrifice of Abraham was accepted by God, God went ahead and he made a promise and an agreement with Abraham. Look, he said, God told Abraham, I will give you this land to your descendants. I will give them the land between the river that they there, there, there. I'll give them, sorry, I will give them the land between the river of Egypt and the great river Euphrates. God promised Abraham again that he will give him that big land. And this is what happened. And not only to Abraham, but also to his descendants, to his children, my brother and my sister in Christ. I want to tell you one thing. Before this year comes to an end, after your Christmas, after you do whatever you're going to do, after you have all whatever you're going to have with your family, it is good you prepare that time before the year ends. You go to an altar of God. You go to that servant of God. Prepare something. Whatever little God has blessed you with, select that good thing that you can offer as a sacrifice to God. Go with it to the servant of God and tell him, servant of God, I want to make an agreement. I want to make an agreement with God. I want my year 2022 to be an year of an agreement. I want God to do this to me. And because I want to do this sacrifice, I want you to speak words unto my life. And I tell you, as God made a promise and agreement with Abraham, and he blessed him, this is what is going to happen to you in your life in the name of Jesus. The reason is why I came today, and the reason as to why I'm preaching this message to you is because I want your year 2022 to be a year of blessings, to be a year of breakthroughs, to be a year where you're going to achieve whatever you've been waiting for in your life in the name of Jesus. I know that so many people have been blessed by God this year. I know so many prayer partners, people have been praying together. So many of them have been blessed. But even if you receive those blessings, I want to tell you, there are so many more blessings waiting for you. And I know the year that is coming, the year of 2022, if you have an agreement with God, God is going to give you more than what you have received in the year 2021 in the name of Jesus I want to pray with you and I know that God is going to change your life for good let us start with the prayer of thanking God for the year because he has done so much for us I included God has done abundant God has done great for my life let us pray Father in the name of Jesus we thank you glorify you because of this year of 2021. Lord Jesus, as we go to this festive season, we thank you and we give you glory because you are God. Thank you, Father, for your protection. Thank you, Father, for your care that you've given us throughout this year. 
We believe the Lord Jesus, you're going to be with us and you're going to help us even to cross to the next year of 2022. All glory and all honor, may they continue being yours. We thank you, Father, because we know the Lord Jesus, you are going to be with us and you're going to make us get out of 2021 being blessed people. In Jesus' name we thank you. Amen. May God bless you. I want us to go ahead with this prayer and we pray for the people. I pray for you as you go and enjoy your Christmas. At the same time, I want us to join our hands together in the Spirit and we pray for those people who don't have anything to enjoy for their Christmas. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you and we glorify you for making us, Father, to be able to get out to this festive season. Thank you, Father. I know the Lord Jesus, so many people are going to their villages so many people are going to other places to enjoy this christmas lord jesus i thank you because i know for the lord you're going to protect them in the name of jesus thank you father those who are using roads may you father protect them and the angels of the darkness who stay on the roads father father so that they can do a sacrifice of blood i pray the lord jesus this person who is watching this sermon may he or she not be of that portion in the name of jesus any trap that might be set on the way oh father may you father remove it for them in jesus mighty name thank you father because i know this person is going to enjoy his festive season oh god this person is going to enjoy his christmas and he's going father to get back to his own place oh jesus being healthy being protected by you in the name of Jesus, remember, oh Jesus, even those people who don't have anything to share, who don't have anything to take during this Christmas of God, may you, Father, provide unto them in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, because I know you're going to create a way for those people whose ways have been blocked. In the name of Jesus, we thank you and we glorify you. Thank you, Father, because you're great. Thank you, Father, because you're wonderful. I want us to continue praying. I know that you might be there, you might be sick, your mom might be sick, your child might be sick, your sister, your brother might be sick. I want us to pray for anybody who is sick, all those people who are sick. I want us to join hands in the spirit and we pray for them. Luke 18 verse 27, the Bible says, ask whatever you think might be impossible to you. Ask God to do it for you. And he shall do all that you think is impossible shall be done by God. Because all that is impossible to you as a man, to God, it is possible. I know that person who is sick is going to receive healing in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you and I worship you because of this person who is listening and watching unto this sermon. Lord Jesus, at this moment, we want to pray for that sick person. May you remember that brother. May you remember that sister. May you remember that parent. May you remember that friend, oh God, who is sick. May you, Father, touch that part of the body that is sick. May you, Father, give that person healing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because I know that person is going to receive healing now in the name of Jesus. Healing, healing, healing. I speak it into the body of that person in the name of jesus even this person is watching us oh god if the person is sick oh god i pray the lord jesus you may heal him you may heal him in the name of jesus thank you father because of your healing we thank you and we glorify you you are great god i want us to pray for that person who is jobless you might have been jobless for the past one month for the past two months for this year you must have been jobless maybe even your job that you have been doing maybe it's a business that has gone down i want to pray with you you might be there you might be having a loan you might be there you have might be having a case in the courts i want to pray with you i want you to get to 2022 being a person who has a job being a person whose business is uplifted in the name of jesus being a person who is going to be in a position to clear your loans being a person who is going to be in a position to make sure that all your court cases are cleared in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, Lord, I come before you as your servant to speak 
and to the life of this person who is jobless. Father Lord, I know that everything is yours. I pray the Lord Jesus, all those who are jobless, may they, Father, get a job. May they, Father, get employed in the name of Jesus. I pray for even that person who has a business and the business has gone down. May you, Father, bring success into that business. Whatever this person requires for his business to flourish, may you, Father, provide it unto him. May you, Father, provide it unto her in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I know that there's a person here who has a case in the court. I know the Lord Jesus is with you. We are winners. I pray for success unto that case in the name of Jesus. All cases that are in the court, I pray the Lord Jesus, may this person win in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, because I know that you have done it. Thank you, Father, because I know that this person is going to be a winner. Thank you, Father, because I know you're going to change the life of this person. In the name of Jesus, we thank you and we worship you. We glorify your name. I know the Lord Jesus, you've changed the life of this person. And I know the Lord Jesus, the life of this person is not going to be the same again. In the name of Jesus, we do pray, trust him, and believe. Amen. May God bless you. May God give you favor. If you want to reach me, my number is there. Pastor John Gahu, call me. We shall pray. We shall break every chain of the devil. Nothing is impossible before God. The life that you're seeing as if it is impossible. The life that you're seeing as if you've got it to an end. God is going to create a way for you. God has an answer for everything. God bless you. My name is Pastor John Garo of Blessings Revival Center Church, Kigumo, in the county of Kyogu. Shalom, shalom, shalom.